Oh, there's one right there. You can see him poking his tail out right there. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. Oh! I think it's dead. This is going to make for a great meal a little bit later when we're camping. Hello, I am Sir Gills, professional camping enthusiast. With all of the rates of hotel rooms increasing and the rising ridiculous prices of camping tents, I'm going to show you how to camp our location, the harsh terrains of Los Angeles. This is Man vs. Camping. I begin my journey in the suburbs. There are three things that I need. One, a campground. Two, nourishment. And three, a place to hang my hammock. Hammocks are the most easiest and efficient way to camp. Not to be confused with ham cooks. Of course, having a chef that cooks your ham while you're camping would be delightful. These two, they definitely look sturdy, but they might be a little bit too wide apart for a hammock. I'm already feeling weak at this point and I need nourishment and hydration fast. <laughs> That's not a good one. Ah, depending on what direction the wind is taking the feather, that should determine where the camping grounds will lie. Perhaps the feather of an eagle or some sort of ostrich. Just as I suspected. Let's go. I'm feeling very dehydrated. If I don't find water soon, I may have to drink my own pee. Luckily, just in the nick of time, I came across a babbling brook. Seems like this is coming from a freshwater stream. So hopefully it'll be safe. Let's give this a try. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to drink my own pee. That's disgusting. When you can't find clean water, you might as well drink your own pee. Look at that right there. That's perfect. Perfect amount for me to survive. <sighs> now I'm hydrated. Let's move along. As you can see from all these holes on the ground, there's probably a lot of snakes in this area. Who knows what kind of snakes? Anacondas, boa constrictors, wiggly wagglies, whatever kind of snakes they are, it's a good idea to stay above the ground. That's why a hammock is also another good choice. Any snakes in there? Woo! Woo! With the sun about to set, I hadn't much time to find a tree to hang my hammock. The city of Los Angeles plants their trees very far apart, apparently. It's very important in these types of situations to keep calm, cool and collected. But I was freaking out. What am I going to do? Am I going to die out here? and get eaten by snakes. Eaten by snakes would not be a good way to go. Then, out of nowhere, just in the nick of time, I had found a place to hang my hammock. Finally, things were getting a little bit tight there, but I think we found our trees. Now, you might have noticed I've been carrying around this pack. Uh, I haven't put any food in here, no uh, things to make a fire. The only thing I do have is my hammock. And that's really all you need. The price of hotels have rose so much in price that it's been literally impossible to rent a room for one night and the price of a tent is just astronomical. But the hammock is very affordable and effective. This hammock is actually very lightweight so it's easy to transport around and it's a very easy setup. Not to mention comfortable. The hammock I'm using is Explore Outfitters Pro Nylon Double Hammock. It comes with two 12-foot paracord ropes and steel carabiners. It's very roomy if you want to share it with another person and you can easily cocoon yourself from direct sunlight, wind or bugs. It also makes a great gift. It's just magnificent! And say, if you're storing your urine to drink for later, you can put it in this little patch right here. I've got to tell you, this is so relaxing. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay alive. Bye. To survive. <laughs> I've got my phone. Be right back.
Go to it. <laughs> Right now I've encountered some sort of animal. I gotta make sure he doesn't see me. He looks like a big white sheep of some sort. Perhaps he has sharp teeth. Just gotta remain very still. <laughs> 